So, slight hiccup on the first video. Yeah. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be branching out a little bit this time. Last time, uh, for the last three experiments that we've done, yeah, branching out, that's right. For the last three experiments that we've done, we've been doing acids and alkalis and the reactions of acids and strength of acids and things like that. So, this time, we're actually going to go out there and do a biology practical. So the biology, ah. so the biology practical we're doing is we're going to test a leaf for starch. So, obviously, if we're testing a leaf for starch, we need some equipment to do that. And perhaps we should go straight on and tell you the chemical that you're going to have to get a hold of. A leaf for starch, and you said branching out. Yes, I know. Right, so if we tell you the chemical that you need to order so that you can get this chemical in place already. So if I get that in focus. Right, this is tincture of iodine, as you can see from what it says on the label. We've got this one from a place called Nomad. Mm. Nomad do outdoor supplies for people who go hiking and camping. And why do we need this when we're hiking and camping? Um, in case you get a cut. Yeah, that's right, because it acts as a disinfectant. So yes. this will actually sterilise a, a bad cut. But it will leave... An uh, orangey-brown stain. Yes. Yes. Which means that you can tattoo yourself with it by accident. Yeah, we'll... we'll um, Christopher has suggested that we do that story at some point later and perhaps even demonstrate the tattoo that I have on the bottom of my foot where I stab myself, but that's a, that's a whole other story. The other thing that you use it for is um, sterilising your water. So you put a few drops of this in water and it kills certain types of bugs. So the other type of um, stuff that we use to sterilise our water is chlorine tablets. And just boiling it. And just boiling it, yes. So we can, we can sterilise our water in a number of different ways, but tincture of iodine is one of the potential ones. You can order this online, okay? So that's not hard to get hold of. Just look for tincture of iodine. So, what's the other one that we've got there? Methylated spirit, ethanol. That's ethanol, yeah. Ethanol. That, you can get methylated spirits, and methylated spirits it generally is purple and comes from the DIY store, and that works perfectly well for the job that we're trying to do. We don't really care about the purple dye for this practical, but if you're doing other practicals where you do care about having a purple dye in your practical, then um, bioethanol works perfectly well for this job. Um, if you're feeling slightly um, like not ordering that stuff, that's actually relatively cheap. If you want to get hold of something else, you could go for proper ethanol, and that would entail you using the purest vodka that you can get. But, you know, don't go there, really, seriously. Um, methylated spirits does the job. The other thing that you need, obviously, is... Um, oh, well done. Forceps, also known as tweezers. Any household tweezers will do for this. Um, also, you need the traditional um, item that we've been using so far in all of our um, experiments is a chopstick. Very useful. This one's a posh chopstick. We usually use just a bamboo, a straight bamboo one, but that's a posh one. Um, yes, shot glasses. Today we are using shot glasses. We're going to use. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, going to, yeah, we're not drinking the bioethanol with the shot glasses, but it might look like that. Um, now you don't need to use shot glasses for this. You can use small jam jars. I've so, got a selection of jars out so for why you. Why is the pesto and the why is the, pes uh, the pesto and the cooking sauce? Because these are in small jam jars. If the, the smallest jam jar that you can get, because you really don't need to use a lot um, of bioethanol well, in there. Um, but uh, you know, it's basically we, any. We found some fancy place and now doing gum um, little jars to have. With ketchup in it. Oh yeah, th those ones that were a bit small, those ah. mini ketchup jars, they're a bit small. So the other thing that you might have is a small juice glass. If you've got a very small juice glass, that could work too. You also need some leaves. Obviously. Would you like to show them the leaves so that you collected earlier? I, I went out and found several different leaf types. And um, this one, which is a variegated That's leaf. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, That's, yeah. That's where it's got variegated white. Ivy. Yeah. Uh, around it, that there are some more impressive ones with white, like white stripes and things. Yeah. So if you can get yourself a white and green leaf, that's helpful. Yeah. Then, then we have some of this in the garden. That's geranium. Yeah. And the geranium. Where it's got 
has got black. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got two different geraniums here, which has got a plain green geranium, and we've got one which has got a little tiny bit of white edging, and a darker red area in the middle yeah. on the leaf. Okay, so that normal leaves up. will work, but it's more cool if you have. So yeah, so we you can have any leaves that you can find. The geranium ones are good because they're fairly robust, and you can get them in the variegated colours. Um, you can actually buy posh geraniums in the garden centres, which are opening back up again this week. No, this week. Um, yeah, I mean, we can buy if, for those of you in the UK. So you could have a look to see if they've got variegated geraniums there. Obviously, you need our uh, our other standard bit of equipment, which is a small saucepan. So we've got standard bits of equipment here: jam jar, small saucepan, white plate, and a chopstick. Okay. We like these bits of equipment that you can and, find and in the garage. Tweezers. So tweezers are very useful for this. Shot glasses and your two important chemicals. Tink tincture of iodine, which tests for starch. Okay. And ethanol. And ethanol, which is going to be used to remove the green colour from the leaves. And we'll see you in the actual real video. Yeah, we will, won't we? <laughs>